Thank goodness I got the grass cut before all the rain comes. Finally got my lawnmower back. Third time lucky. And she'll see if it lasts. Let's go put the ducks away. The temperature just dropped about 10 degrees. It's so nice now. No humidity anymore and here comes the rain. My garden's gonna love it here. More rain. Oh my goodness. Well, hi there. Hi. Are you having a little swim? Hi. <laughs> One of them is growing considerably bigger than all the others. Considerably faster, I should say. Very cute. Oh wow, that is my first rainbow on my farm. It's the first one I've seen. Isn't that amazing? Ah, so cool. dragon's egg cucumber I was just checking out this new uh, green stock that I won I've got lots of tomatoes coming won't be long before they ripe wow we've just had one heck of a flash flood sounds like um, oh, <laughs> sounds like some moths coming too this volunteer tomato is doing great <laughs> it's really taken off but it is covered in tomatoes just waiting to ripen absolutely can't be mad about it Some more down there right, and then this is a volunteer cucumber <laughs> and that's got some cucumbers coming too so funny really windy day today it's actually blown the cosmos straight over we can't get it to stand back up that's all right waiting on these tomatillos or tomatillos it's pineapple tomatillos taking their time but it's all right i'll be patient
These are a hard no on the uh, scoreboard rating. These are um, the spice in them just chokes me. It's just awful, just horrible. Can't do it. Cucamelons. It's been a few sad days here on the farm actually um, with the raccoon attack and losing the ducks and had to make the really sad decision to uh, rehome Dexter. He was having so many health issues that he really needed to be an inside dog and that was fine. He was inside a lot with me, but that wasn't the reason that I got him. I got him to take care of the animals outside in the barn. So he's gone to a beautiful family in a beautiful home with lots of love and attention and some older kids to run and fuss with him and play with him. He's got acreage to take care of, but he's predominantly going to be an inside dog and have medication, have his coat taken care of, have all the baths that he needs and supplements and everything that we were doing here, they're gonna continue that and they're gonna do amazing with him. So it's very sad that his uh, kennel is empty and uh, we really, really miss him. There's a big, a big hole where he used to be, big empty space on the floor in the house where he used to lay and everyone used to have to step over him because he was too stubborn and and we just really miss him so he's done a good he, he's going to do great where he is he's already doing great and they absolutely adore him and um dexter's health and happiness had to come first so he's been gone a couple of days and he's doing great and um can't thank the family enough for taking care of him and loving him and being there being there for him and being his new owner so but for now we've got an empty kennel in the barn and um that's okay for now maybe next year there'll be a new addition but for now i'm good with no barn dog so it's very sad <laughs>